Hi everybody, so here it is. This is the most requested video I think I've ever had and that is the commentary to my Black Swan Potida. Uh, so let's go. Partner is Seth Orza. This is a guesting performance um, as the previous Swan Lake videos. This is the act where you can kind of see the illness set in, the fatigue. Um, I didn't look as crisp as probably act one, but I still had a lot of fun with this. I love being the bad girl and flirting. Um, and that's what makes this pot of it. Even if you're not having a good technique day, if you sell the character, that's what matters. The other difficult thing, of course, is that you come out of the wing with a bang, and that first step can sometimes, you if you anticipate and jump the gun, you've already lost your breath. <laughs> so I love this little flick step, flick to second, open, fuete to attitude, sort of an on and on fuete um, to arabesque. That's fun. Um, and the most important thing, like I said, is the character to flirt. You know, it's this is not about show. Like, look at me, look at me. It's about to him and lure, luring him in and drawing him in. You know, it's not about the audience. That's people get a little too um, audience friendly on Black Swan for me, uh, and that's when it goes wrong. To me, it's more about look at me, look at me to the prince. Um, sometimes this step right here, this little fuete to attitude, sometimes it's partnered, sometimes it's not. We elected to do the non-partnered version, which is harder for the girl. Thanks! Um, <laughs> because the guy is not lifting you up, so you have to do it all by yourself. Um, and then the classic uh, lame ducks all the way down to him. And we're going to end up doing the more classical version, which is to a back bend in passe, not to attitude. It's more classic. So right here, you're happy because you can start to breathe. You know, many potatas get harder as they go. Black Swan, depending on the version, gets a little bit easier. You get some time to breathe. You get a couple of walking around moments, some flirting moments. So that was always nice. And Seth and I, again, are doing sort of a different combined version of many versions. Um, so she's flirting with him here. And again, this part mimics the white swan. Exactly the same step, attitude promenade into a little devil pay because you're trying to again make him believe you are in fact the white swan even though if you just paid attention to the tutu hello she's not the white swan white swan wasn't this mean just a little heads up there dude anyway pirouette oh this is this step i cannot do well keep the back up katie i didn't do it well in aurora either um yeah that wasn't quite good i didn't get right back up on my leg let's try one more time this time you go around twice, or should, yeah, to a little attitude, and then, yeah, that's a better position right there. Um, and here is where, again, different, depending on the version, Rothbart uh, gets involved This in our version. Sometimes Rothbart does not get involved at all. He just sits there. Um, but we wanted ours to, to get involved a little bit. Um, I love this part. This sort of lean... Sometimes it's a ponche. Here it's a little lean and arabesque without falling over. Um, the whole point of the black swan really is to be such a distraction that he forgets everything. You know, that kind of woman that a man just forgets all morals, all everything for. That's the purpose of black swan, the evil sort of distraction that, yes, her tutu is not white, but he doesn't care. Um, and here we're kind of mimicking... I sort of would make fun of the white swan here, like, oh, yeah, let me flap my arms, you know. Um, and this promenade is really hard because you've got one hand and you're going the wrong way until it turns into the passe. I need to work on my partner pirouettes. That foot isn't quite pointed. That knee isn't quite turned out. Um, and then here comes what's supposed to be Odette, but it's a body double. Hi, Caroline. Um, body double there. She did a great job. And Rothbart says, well, you know, if he's remembering her, be like her, make him think you are her. So then this step is that, it's exactly, it's like the opening step of Odette. She does the arabesque into the sort of port -bras back, and then the two arms, you're mimicking what Odette does, her very first step on stage, saying to the prince, yes, of course I'm Odette, of course I'm Odette. I did this wrong, I was supposed to go on the down stage, stage side of him, but I did not. Um, this part's fun for your knee, torjete knee, you try not to bruise yourself there. I liked this. I love that part. 
sort of like, <laughs> don't touch me, don't even think about it. Oh, but yes, okay, now you can touch me. And another promenade, classic ballet step. This, I'm not sure if this is the show, yeah, I'm supposed to stay in attitude, but I kind of messed that up, so I went to passe and readjusted, which is totally fine. Um, and this was another little moment to breathe where he says, please, please, and she says, okay. And I always tried to, as Odile, to keep acknowledging Rothbart because in my opinion, he's the one controlling the entire situation. So keep acknowledging Rothbart, keep saying, okay, am I doing the right thing? Okay, am I doing the right thing? Because if you acknowledge Rothbart, then it keeps him in the story. Um, this right here is sometimes a ponche, sometimes an arabesque. I think I was not quite on my legs, so I just stayed in the arabesque there. Um, and here's the last, oh, see that part, that posse? Oh, come on, Katie. Last position. Which is really hard for this particular show because there was no conductor. It was all taped, so we had to kind of guess, and luckily we guessed correctly there. Um, yeah. But th the whole second half of Black Swan is like, not easy, but it's just so breathable, which is really nice. So let's move on to the variation. And warning, this is not the typical Black Swan variation. This is the Russian version with a little Peter Martin's twist on the front of it, this little Chenet combination. Um, this is not the version ABT does. This is not the version New York City Ballet does. This is more of a Russian European version of Black Swan. It's entirely different music. Entirely different music. So you start with little hops around into a fuete, double on a don, which I really need to turn out that knee right there. Whoops. I don't know why I'm doing it back of the knee. That should be front of the knee. And I learned this off of YouTube like two days before I did it. Because I, again, I was not well at the time and the other version was just a little too hard for me at that point. I couldn't get all the way through it feeling decent. So I was, at the last minute I was like, okay, I'm gonna do the Russian version. And learned it off of YouTube and did it two days later. Uh, but it was a guesting performance so I could. Um, ooh, that was a nice arabesque there. Let's see if I can do it on the other side. Nope. <laughs> And this is always a good thing for me. Anytime there's a menege and a variation, I feel like it's a rest step for me. I, I breathe really well on menege's. Um, whoops, almost lost my balance there. But yeah, this is not your typical version. Right here, all I could think about was slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. You've got fuetes in about 30 seconds. <laughs> so breathe. And the key to any pot of you have fuetes in, take a nice long bow right here. Take your time, acknowledge the people. Walk off slowly because if you run off and you get off stage too fast, you don't have time to recover. <laughs> so, little tip there. Here comes Mr. Orza again with his beautiful lines and gorgeous look. He's everybody who saw him, he came to guess with me, they were like, Who is he? <laughs> oh, he's so good. Always was. He was, like I said, in the White Swan Potata, one of my frequent partners at New York City Ballet while he was there, and then he left for PNB, and now he's a principal. He does these really well. These little tours to arabesque, he does those really well, better than most. And here we come for the fuetes. Okay, now I have no calf muscles at this point. My muscles are disintegrating. So I elected to do all singles, make them really pretty, and I think I get to about 20 maybe. I don't do 32, because when your muscles are disintegrating, you do what you can do, you know? And that's all I could do. So I suspended that turn, and then I did the optional little manege, making it up as I go along. Um, but yeah, I have really pretty fuetes. I like my the look of my fuetes, so I do singles. I don't do all the crazy doubles. Um, and I couldn't really do it at that point anyway with my, I, my muscles were literally disintegrating. But you know what, you, you do what you can. You do your 20 and you do pique manege and finish beautifully and nobody cares. And it was really slippery, so Seth, I remember him saying, I just had no, no traction there. Uh, this is my favorite step, this little arabesque thing. Little Russian Padishah. I love that. Oh, that's so much fun. And right here, you also know your fuetes are over, so you're like, yay! <laughs> My turns are done. Um, but you really do have no legs by this point because of the variation. You have no time to breathe. Um, so you're just at this point praying to, to finish. And right here, you're absolutely joyous because all your hard stuff is over. Act four of Swan Lake is just all about the beauty and the emotion, and you're done. Yay! 
So that's Black Swan, you guys. Again, not my best dancing uh, because I was so ill, but you guys really wanted to see it, so there it was. If you missed my video on tips for teaching ballet, it's right there. You can click it to watch. Love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time.